Hi, it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another What's in My Bag. This video will feature the Lug Shimmy SE in Bloom Black. This is a new bag to me, and I'm excited to give it a try. It's a little bigger than the one I'm in, so hopefully it will accommodate everything without squishing. Shouldn't be a problem. So, first thing is I grabbed a bunch of accessories in here that we might use to move into this bag. I just grabbed a bunch of things like normal. So before we do that, let's clear out the old bag. The old bag is the Vera Bradley multi-strap shoulder bag, ironically named because these straps are too short to be a shoulder bag, but the longer strap, of course, does make it shoulder capable. Um, so starting with the front, I have, um, yeah, that's the front. <laughs> In the pocket, I have a double eyeglass case with my sunglasses in there. I have a mask. You can tell I went with the Matchy Matchy in Moonlight Garden. This bag is Performance Twill Classic Navy. Yeah, anyways, that's all that's in that front pocket. I have the little bag charm here, which is little turtle tote that's also Vera Bradley. And inside I have a and sanitizer, so I'm just gonna put that aside for now. And then in the back pocket, I don't have anything because that's where my phone was. And I just put my phone somewhere else. I'm not sure where I just put that. Oh, on the table. <laughs> yeah, so I have my phone. All right, inside I have a mini cosmetic, a mini dome cosmetic, a all-in-one crossbody wristlet, a coin purse, which is my tech pouch, a manicure kit, <laughs> that was very matchy-matchy. Um, then I have some raffle tickets. If anybody's interested, by the way, totally not trying to sell anything, not for me, but Jim Click, a car dealership guy here in Tucson, is very philanthropic. He does a huge raffle every year. Tickets are $20 each or five for a hundred and you could win a car, a brand new vehicle. So, side note, that's why I keep pulling raffle tickets out of my bag. Um, Jim Click Millions for Tucson Raffle win one of three great prizes. Grand prize, new 2020 Ford F-150 Platinum. Second prize, two round trip, first class airline tickets to anywhere in the world. Third prize, $5,000 cash, um, yeah. So, oh, I'm sorry, I said 20. $25 each or five for 100. Um, yeah, so that's what it looks like. Just so you know, I'm not making it up. But anyways, if you're interested, send me a message. My email's in the link below. So, back on track. Let's get to what's in my bag. I have a, <laughs> well, it's Elmo, I don't care. Uh, but it's um, wipes, like wet wipes. But that kept them from getting squashed. Then I have headphones. They're wired, of course. I have my multi-tool card thing, pack of gum that's unopened. Got a notebook, Vera Bradley, pocket notes. Have some Mentos um, Clean Breath 30 Minutes mints. This is a nice slim trim pack, so I just got that. A squeezy flashlight, business cards, two pens, and in the pocket I have my keys. And yeah, more keys. Okay, so that gets us out of that bag entirely. Okay, so lots of things to move in with. Some of them will change out, some of them will not. I have my basket here, of course. And now let's see what we grabbed. Well, I grabbed a stack of masks because um, the mask here is going in the laundry because I wore it um, yesterday. So now I have a bunch of new masks. I usually just stack a few in the bag when I change bags, and that way I have them for the week, kind of, or however long. So I've got Flamingo Fiesta. These are Vera Bradley. Got the uh, Catalina Showers, I think it's called. You know, from Catalina Pink and Catalina Blue. Uh, very, very Paisley, maybe? Something like that. Kiev Paisley. And then you've got your Sierra. Then I have a Lug Beaker mask, and this is the original ones. This was in the first round, like the very first release. And that's your Camo Navy. 
And then I have a Vera Bradley pleated mask, best in show. It's the doggies, of course. So there they go. And I got my sweet, sweet Lucy right here. Yay. She's so sweet. That was totally her. The very first picture I took of her at home was laying in her bed just like that. Um, okay, but this one does have a bendable nose piece on it. So if you're not familiar with the pleated masks. Also, it has the strap that's, you know, like over your head, which I don't prefer. So I think I'm going to retie that to be over the ear. But anyways, right now, I haven't used it yet. So masks, we'll put those aside because I don't need all of them right now. I grabbed a different notebook because I thought, you know, it's sort of this um, metallic floral, which gave me an Asian vibe, which is totally not racist at all. It really does. And that reminded me a little bit of the inside of the Bloom Black. So to me, I thought that was, that was the closest match I had anyways. There you go. All right, I grabbed some pouches. These are actually sack roots, which is a nice texture. It's kind of a midtown type texture, very reminiscent to lug as well. Um, and so I just thought that with the multicolors, it might be kind of a fun mix and match with the bloom black. It's not a perfect match or anything at all, but I just thought it would be a, a good fit. Um, and I like that kind of pouch, so I grabbed them. We may or may not use them. Then I grabbed, let's see, runway envelopes in black. So it's a pair, the two-piece set. I grabbed the compact organizer in Lighten Up from Vera Bradley. That's a factory-style item. I grabbed a sunglass case in Wildflower Garden, but there actually are sunglasses inside. So I think we're going to change out sunglasses as well. I grabbed a tandem zip in Bloom Black because it matches. The only other Bloom Black wallet I had is the Rodeo, which I like, but I didn't want to use. So with a bigger bag, I could go with a bigger wallet. I'm gonna give this backwards thing a try and we'll see how it goes. But just in case I decide not to go that way, I brought my Splits XL, which is of course my favorite lug wallet. Love, love, love this wallet. And this one has uh, already been used in black. It's nice, slick. I love it. And that goes with Bloom Black, of course. I grabbed a business card case. This is um, Vera Bradley. It's the snap kind. I actually have two different business cards. One is like personal that has my address and stuff on it. And then the other one is more like attuned to my channel. So it's a little more discreet. But, but yeah, so depending on which way I wanted to go at any given time, sharing info. There we go. Then I have a different manicure kit because I don't have Bloom Black. This is Vera Bradley in Fruit Grove. But I thought this one matched better than the Moonlight Garden, so I'm just gonna swap out because I always gotta keep a little something for my nails. And last but not least, Bloom Black pen. Yay! Okay, so that's that. Now what we're moving into before we get into the changeover. So, oh, and I grabbed also the heart, wallet, uh, coin purse, whatever, accessory piece in Bloom Black. I just grabbed it. I've already hooked it on. I'm just gonna leave it there. Okay, so this bag has a phone pocket on top. So straight away, where'd I put that phone again? Lose it right in front of my face. So here's the phone. It fits, it's a lateral slot, not a vertical. So it's horizontal, that's fine. Phone is moved in. Second pocket is open. I wonder, let's see what fits real quick. So the cosmetic will fit in there, but if you put stuff in it, that bulks out the bottom, so it won't be flat like that. So that's probably a no. I'm not gonna do sunglass case. The wallets both fit in this pocket, which is nice. Fits nice, you just tuck the strap right in, that fits great. Both wallets fit, I already tested it. But here's the thing. I would want the wallet on the back zipper pocket because that'll be against my body, which is more secure, you know, and whatnot. But the trick is this pocket on the front is the one that's RFID protected. Thankfully, the wallet is also RFID protected, but who doesn't want double protection? I do. So uh, that will sort of force my hand, if you will, to put the wallet in the front. That's fine. It's not a big sacrifice. Um, and I think it makes just enough sense because you can zip that nicely. So besides not a lot of whole pickpockets in the local area, so it'll be all right. 
But let's see if these um, runway envelope, let's see how that fits in here. That's a no for the big one. Open. Let's see about the smaller one, how that one fits. Ooh. Slicky bag. All right, so smaller bag. That one fits quite nicely and has extra space on the side. Maybe the width of, no, not quite that wide. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so it has a little space. That's a potential. And then this pouch, because it's slouchier, could fit in there laterally, but not vertically. And okay, but that one fits. So in both cases, the small envelope fits. That's okay. So just checking. We have pockets on the sides, which we can use for any number of things. Right now, I'm planning just to keep those open. Pocket on the back will be the same fit as the front. Inside, this is so cool, we have a big clear view pocket here and it goes all the way across, nice, great capacity. There's two pen slots on the side. Am I looking at the correct side? No. They're on the other side of the bag. Okay, so that's all that's on the back side, which is actually the front. <laughs> the front has the clear view. The back, actual back has another clear view pocket which is gusseted on one side so you can fit wider items in there which is really cool next to that you have a double slip so you have a big slip in the back which is nicely padded on one side on the front so for me um, it's sort of a third pocket because I have the phone in the phone pocket you could put sunglasses in the front pocket which is also fleece lined and then you have this third place for either a second phone or another pair of glasses or, yeah, so lots of options, which is great. Um, I might just put the sunglasses on the outside. We'll see. But inside the front slip, so this front slip right here, there's two pen slots inside there. So right away, I know for sure I'm taking the blue and black one. We'll put that in there. Get in there. Oh, they're not very tall. They stick out a lot. And then... We'll put the Vera one away and I'll use my multi-pen that's black and red and a pencil all in one. So two pens, two pen slots, we are good. Now, keys, this one does have a key bungee. So let's go ahead and hook the keys on there. We've got a myriad of keys. So I have my shopping tag bag charm from Vera and then my door keys, gate key, of different doors and gates um, and then I have here's my mail keys and my truck key and my medic alert tag so normally these are all kind of hooked together um, so we'll just put them together so it's a chunk of keys and then I'll just hook the chunk onto there mm. yeah there you go chunk of keys <laughs> in the bag and they can just float because they're on a leash okay so let's see here hmm. let's first do sunglasses I was using the Vera Bradley with the mini medallion on there those are nice they've been great I like them a lot I'm gonna take those out and put these ones in and the reason I picked these ones if not the case, the case, oops, the case is fine. But these ones are in Art Poppies. And that was a Vera Bradley breast cancer pattern back in 2016. And so it's pink, it's very breast cancer. And the front is blue, which you can't see super well, but it's a nice vivid blue. And same style of glasses, except these are not polarized. That's okay, but it's October. Breast cancer awareness. So there you go. I changed glasses. And I'm going to, for now, put them in this front pocket, which is fleece lined. So that's going to be my glasses pocket right there. And the case can be put away for later. All right. Slowly, slowly. I'm going to say we'll go with the tandem zip, uh, which means I need to take the tag off of it. Okay, 
So, yay, I'm gonna use it. All right, so I'm gonna leave the strap on it and I'm gonna put that in this pocket. I'll do the wallet changeover later, but that's a one for one swap. Wow, it's already kind of bulky. But the front kind of has its own space, so it's not taking away from the interior. I think we'll be just fine. Let's see. We've got all these slip pockets and all of these things. I think, okay, we don't need that because we have this one. So we're gonna put this in the front slip pocket. Yeah, so put that right there in the front slip. And the slip behind that, I'll put the notebook. So the notebook is with the pens, etc. So that means this notebook can be put away. Let's see all these other little things we got here. Okay, the gum and mints will be separate, go into a different discussion. We've got headphones, business cards. These are coming out because this one's coming in, the soft one. I just thought it matched a little better, even though it doesn't match. <laughs> um, so I think I'm gonna put these things together in this clear pocket on the back. They're all slim and trim. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm also going to put the headphones in there. I think. Yep, so there, all of that fit really nicely in that zipper pocket that is the clear view with the gusset. So because it gives it a little extra thickness, that actually works really, really well. I'm not sure it's gonna stay there, but for now, yes. Okay, so now we have the wallets already gone. We have the gum and mints, tech pouch, and the catch-all, the gum and mints. And then we have some wipes, which we'll see. Okay, decisions, decisions. So, um, Mm -hmm. I'm thinking clear view. So we'll save the smaller one for the gum and mints and the larger one for the catch all. Let's see if this works. So, what's in here? We've got two rubber bands, a small comb, we've got, <laughs> yeah, so we've got some medicine, some band aids lotion and sunscreen, toothpick, dental floss things, three different sanitizers with alcohol, eucalyptus mint, and anti-everything, and some chapstick, and that's it. So, mm hmm Yeah, I'm wondering, Wonder, wonder, wondering. So clear view pocket wise, I'm gonna put the medicine. No, that doesn't fit in there. I'm gonna put the toothpick, dental floss, maybe the band-aids are a little tall, but they fit. Put the comb in there, lotion, sunscreen. Okay, change of plans. Yeah, big change. So all the stuff that I put in the front clear view is moving. And I'm gonna put these in that front pocket. So my, my lotions and potions, if you will. So I'll show you this, don't worry. Lotions and potions go in that pocket. Mo better. And then I can put That stuff, and that medicine thing is still a little bit. Okay. That is kind of bulky when you start stacking these layers. So this is an education for me. So you've got the sunglasses, you've got a couple of things in here, but they're thin. That's my wallet, right? And then you've got the phone, but then with that stuff inside, it's 
sort of now it's this it's this thick. It's a couple inches. So it's okay. It just it now the the middle of the bag is crowded, and when you go to zip it, look what happens to the foam pocket. It, it pops open because that stuff is changing the angle of the bag here. So it pulls it open. And that's just normal standing. That's not even moving. So I don't like that. So what I may do, let me see if this solves the problem. It does. It's not as much pulling down. So that solves the problem, which means I will just put this in the back or in the inside, but I'm gonna say the back. So good thing it has its own RFID protection because now it's in the back. Okay, which is where I was gonna put this stuff. So, so let's see, let's put it in here instead. So we got squeezy light, multi-tool, business cards, headphones, Yeah, that fits very nicely and it's slim profile, so that will work. I also can put, this is just a cord and a charger. I don't need this. So we can put the cord and charger in this pouch as well, I think. Oops. Let's see how that works. Very nice, very nice. And I can see everything, which is great. So there we go. That can go right down the middle of the bag. Interesting that we have plastic on plastic on plastic. That'll be good. Then we'll just put the wipes in here. They can just sit. Mm. Nope. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the wipes, put that in the basket, put the wipes, and an end pocket, ta-da, done. Now, I left the chapstick out on purpose. Here's why, check this out. I don't know if this is intentional or if anybody else has discovered this, but the way these straps are built, see how they have this like paddle-shaped connector here? It gives it a very robust connection. It's sewn all the way up in this teardrop shape, see that? And then way up here, you have that ring. Well, guess what, the end of this, is open so it turns out that is a pocket right there it's a slip pocket on both ends and it's you know two fingers wide it, it, well three if you put three fingers in there but but yeah so it will actually fit things like hand sanitizer will fit right in there nicely um, and you can get it out pretty easy I'm just gonna put my chapstick in one end and I'll put my chapstick in the back and my hand sanitizer in the front and we'll put it up right. But yeah, so purposeful or not, it's a perfect little slip pocket that it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't impede anything. It's perfect. I'm really excited. It's just a happy little discovery. Yoo-hoo! Okay, so that, that pretty much does it. Now all I need now, place to put the masks, which, hmm, I have an idea. Okay, so Chapstick is moving to the miscellaneous pocket, not the lotions and potions. And the mask, let's just pick one. We'll put the lug mask, and fold it into a small piece, and I'm gonna put that in my secret pocket. So I have a mask all the time at the ready. What else is in here? We've got nothing in this pocket. So I'm gonna put couple of masks, let's say just two. Two masks is enough to take with me on any given day. So that can go in there. Okay, so the only thing left is our mints and whatnot. So this might still be in play. We've got this little mini dome cosmetic. We don't have to take everything that's in it, but girls got to have options, okay. This is getting drawn out a bit, huh? Well, we're not gonna use this. That's way too big for this bag. So this bag is quite large, but turns out it's deceptively small, capacity-wise, comparatively, because all of that stuff fit into that Vera bag, which was smaller, and this bigger one is, it, it'll fit it, but just 
how it fits is, is different. So we are either going to use this small pouch or this clear view. And let's see. So we have cinnamon gum that's open, mint gum that's not. I kind of actually want to take both. So let's see how this fits in here. Nicely, easily. Okay. Then I have the thin mint thing because it's a little thinner. I think I might take that one and leave the other mints in the basket. Mm -hmm. uh, this is actually a tin, you know, with the pop top, but inside is Werther's and Butterscotch discs, just, just in case you need a pop of sugar. So I'm gonna put that in here, maybe. Yeah. And then I have my glucose tabs, cause you never know. Either or, you know, obviously they haven't even been opened. So, I think those will fit nicely. Just gonna squash my gum just a little bit. And then I have these breath strips, which I think will still fit in here nicely. Yep. Ta da! So lots of options. Um, mostly I just carry them around, but I, I had mints after breakfast and so did all the guys at the table. So that was fun. Uh, yeah, so options. Girls got to have options. Okay, so, yeah. All right, here's the deal. This is too much, the plastic on plastic doesn't let things slide in real easily. So I think what I'm gonna do is change to this pouch. Let's see. Oh, this is not quick release, but it will come off. Just gotta thread the ring, okay. And I don't need the wristlet. So let's look at the small one. Like I said, it's like a midtown material. It does have giraffe embroidered on the front, two of them, and a heart in the middle, which is super cute. I've never used this bag before. That's okay. Inside it has a wipeable lining. It's not quite nylon slicky, but it is still wipeable. And just sort of a dashed tan sort of lining. And the zipper pull is kind of a just an open, sort of rustic. It's a nice feel to it. All right, let's change this stuff over and see how it fits. So headphones, squeezy light, business cards. It's getting tighter. I think this will still work. So many decisions, adjustments. Um, that will work. Will this work? Yeah, that's not optimum. It has a little bit of a pooch there, but it zips and unzips pretty easily. So I think it will be, it's just gonna bother me, but it will be fine. Maybe I can put it down the middle here. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so nice. It's still a fairly slim profile. So we'll put that inside. And actually, yes, this works much better. So we'll get keys on the bottom. We'll switch those over. So inside, it, I mean, that was a lot of work, but it's actually not super crowded. It's just, you know, using the built in versus add in accessories and figuring it out. So that was actually kind of interesting for me to process. It was a lot more thinking than I thought it would be. So we have lots of things. All just tucked away and I think it all makes sense the way it's organized and it's gonna be fun so I will follow up and let you know after I've used it for a while this will remain on the outside I can use that for coins change money anything quick access I can put another hand sanitizer in there I might just put a couple extra masks in there that way if I get out of the car and I forgot to grab one out of the truck then I always have one with me in one of the spots that I've hidden them yeah so anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great weekend. Happy National Handbag Day to all my Vera and Lugnut and GGB and all my other handbag friends. Thank you for watching and don't forget to wash your hands, stay safe, stay happy, and take care of each other. Bye for now.